hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue the laravel e-commerce website development okay so guys till now we have set with this dashboard and the front end is this and the back end is this okay so for this now we need a login system where we can authenticate and login to our admin panel right or a normal user also so for that we are going to set up see here guys so right now if you go to our main url so we will see home okay and to go to dashboard it's going directly to the dashboard so before going to this dashboard we need a login system something like this okay so once you click on login that login page should come everything so laravel is providing us the login things right so you can follow with the commands and uh, move on with it so let's get started with that so guys this is our fresh application right now and installed with this basic designing parts which is for this dashboard and this things so if you are not understanding all these things please watch out the previous videos which is from part one to four right now and this is the fifth part we are going to continue with the login and register right so guys let's get started with this okay so the first command uh, open your terminal with the control till option and now we will run a command so before running any command we have to set all the database configurations things many things are there so what we have to do is first we will set up our files so let me just minimize this or let me close this first we will go to app provider app service provider so we have to set the boot function okay so that schema should not be empty okay let's get back and we will type schema default string length laravel so we are getting this and let's click this error so we will get this kind of error when we are migrating the table so for that fixing it before that error comes we will fix this okay so we'll just go on it and we will copy this line copy and paste it here save get back copy this one more line 191 and paste here save it that's it saved guys now and now we will save and just close this file so one step is clear and second step we will create the login and register system so guys let me start with this so write a command called php artisan make colon auth and hit enter so once you hit enter the command will execute and create a login system in your resource folder you can see something okay generated successfully and now you can see inside this views auth folder is come over here and inside layouts you can find a one app.blade.php file and normally and uh, one home blade is available here okay so three things has been changed now okay so after this we will just try to execute what is that coming over here before this so let us give login and we can see it's working or not cool so login everything is working fine login and register has come over here so we will use this into our this website okay so this navbar over here we will just include this login and register and uh, yes guys so let's build with this we will integrate that two things over here right now okay so let me close this one and let's go to layouts app.blade.php which is generated right now we'll just scroll down so while scrolling down we will uh, copy this li nav items things right so before that we will go to our front end blade where we have the uh, navbar inside our inc folder that is front end navbar so let me keep it here and 
let's just check it out okay so this is the nav items right so this is my friend navbar i just want to remove this social media and this mdb github so i'll just remove that remove it control r will reload the page and you can see only one okay that is this option so now i will i am going to include that nav item and from our blade file so let us just copy this guest one authenticated authentication links so copy this full okay so copy this do not copy this ul and end of ul just copy inside that ul things copy and paste below paste it and hit our load it and let's paste and load the file we can see login and register now cool so it's looking here so guys now uh, as we have gone over here if we click this login it will change to some other file some other design right so for this i don't want this menu bar i want my menu bar so for that we will go to this login page okay so we'll go over there and uh, here guys where is it this is my authentication login so inside login i am extending with the app right so i want to extend with the, this front end not with the app so let's type inside layout folder called front end file that's it so just copy this and change with the register also paste it and verify also is there we will learn in further videos what is this verify verify file and you can set with the password email and reset also so just change everything from app to front end we'll just change it set so everything is set now we'll just close all the files which we open now and login also we'll close this good so let us now reload it now let us click on login once so when we click on login it's coming the same navbar nice so before this we have to set everything this things so that will be into our blade file login page we have just include this margin top which we have to do with it margin top 5 that's it okay it's a still little is pending so for that you can set a section called simple section where you can include the style things so just call section or a div tag so inside that section i am going to type style is equal to padding top is equal to 54 pixel save and we will just move that it's coming little more let's make it to 84 let us move to 84 yes guys so it's fine now right now and yep so when we click on register it should come fine it will not come fine because it is also not having a section so we'll include this section in register also there is register here it is so let's mention that and and section okay so now set so guys to register and log in this thing we have to um make a database right for this so let's go to our php my admin so localhost/php my admin if you enter you will find your database it's still loading let me hit enter okay so now guys we are going to create one file i mean database let's click on new and on new create database called fab cart let us create this so once 
fab cut is created now successfully that's it just need to ignore now let's go back to our page so uh, now we will get back here and to our code let me close everything and arrange it so let's go to env file first okay so once you click on env file we are going to see database username and password so my database is fab cart and this is root and this is password that's it so password i don't keep so we can ignore this root and password fab cart is set now if you are running this already and you are going to check the output so this data will base will not work out so you have to stop your terminal stop your localhost php artisan serve and restart that again then your everything database connection will start working with this env file so i want to tell if you make any changes in env file please start your server once again close and restart it if any changes in env file okay close this and let's migrate the files so for guys now for that we will write the command php artisan migrate let's migrate migration created successfully and boom so there are no errors or no nothing that specified key is long length anything so it's set successfully and now let us go and check into our database so let's click on fab cart let me see our tables are created nice okay successfully and let's go to our user table let me click on users and over there no fields are available right now so for this we will go back here and let's uh, register over there first so for this registration um no changes we have to do just click on register let's make it to ved prakash where i am going to provide ved@gmail.com password 1 2 3 4 5 6 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so minimum it is accepting 8 only okay so let us register this now so okay dashboard you are logged in so once it's logged in you are coming over here in your home page so home is the url where i want to change this also to normal navbar so let's go to this home page copy this url and let's go to route web.php and you can see a home called over here okay this is giving some kind of error it's actually import the class okay so class is imported now so just ignore that and yes guys this is the home and let's go to home controller at view home so let's go to its view path called home so insert your resource folder views homeblade.php it's extended app so instead of app we will give front end that's it save it and let's close this simple let's close this again do not get confused with this simple things this is just to change the extension okay everything is set now so once we have to set this again section over here we'll just the section once after putting this we are going to call the style tag or a class you can just specify one class called section um top section we will just tell this and you can give a style in your blade file public file so that is inside css and style.css over here i am going to call that padding top colon 90 pixels that's it top section and let's cut this and tell it over here that's it done and uh, let me reload the page 
so we can see dashboard you are logged in nice so you can see over here your with prakash is the logout button also is here and if you log out so log out also will happen okay and let us see in our database where user registered details are added or not so nice with prakash name is come over here email uh, verify at verify that we have to do in next video will be continuing with this how to verify and everything so guys uh, data is saving and successfully and let us just log in and check how it is going so with at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight let's log in so once i log in i will get back to home page you are logged in good so guys um now we will be learning about how to um, make admin and a uh, custom user and vendor login things right so as his admin he should go to his dashboard so dashboard he will be entering his dashboard so over there for that we will be doing now and in next video so dashboard and if he's a normal user he should be in this video itself i mean in this page only or else he should be in a home page common things right so guys um thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share and please watch out the next video